I feel like I'm late in getting to actually verbally say this, but thank you guys all so much for 300,000 subscribers on the channel. And for those of you that maybe saw on social media, I mentioned it, I was at the airport at the time that we reached that number. And I was hoping to maybe live stream it. I know we did it for 100 and 200,000. But uh, again, as I mentioned in the couple of social media posts, this community never ceases to amaze me. I thought maybe we had a shot of reaching it in 2021 a couple of weeks back. And I figured, you know, I was going to be traveling for Christmas. Most likely I'd get to stream it when we got back. But just incredible to see that happen. And I was glad at least it was while at the airport and not on the plane when I would have had to be without service. But again, thank you guys all so much, and it's just incredible to watch this channel and this community grow. It has been amazing, it's been an incredible year, and uh, there will be more coming specifically about that uh, in the hopefully very near future. But today I wanted to not only thank you guys for another incredible milestone for this channel and community, but I also wanted to bring back something that we've been talking about doing for quite some time and something that was suggested I forget if it was in the comments or in a live stream but basically going for a hunt with weapons that kind of coincide with the size of the channel and for 300,000 we're going on a hunt with just the 300 caliber rifle so we have the kind of carbon stock and the wood grain stock today and we're out here on Silver Ridge Peaks I figured with the black bear grind kind of ongoing this would be the best map to hunt and we are in multiplayer, just to kind of switch it up a little bit from that grind. And we'll kind of see what we can get. Plains Bison, Black Bear, and Rocky Mountain Elk will pretty much be our target species today. And hopefully, there's something good waiting on us out here. And good to see, anyway, that our map is not the only one with a seemingly plethora of very tiny Black Bears. Starting out with a level 4, and I think we'll use the kind of carbon stock 300 for this guy. I wanted to maybe get a heart shot, but double lung will do the trick. And as we kind of run over there and pick him up, I want to kind of circle back to what I mentioned and thinking that maybe we could reach 300k by the end of the year. I would say, I mean, going back to probably June, it seemed like that was a goal that wasn't going to happen. And again, I, I've referenced the social media post multiple times, but I said that every year there's a kind of goal that I'll look at, say, in January for the entire year and at some point it just, it just looks like it's too far off too unobtainable and without fail every time you guys always end up coming through this community is amazing and I mean to see that number come up we've had I think three consecutive years essentially of reaching a milestone of like a multiple of 100k and uh, it just seems like it never, I don't know, it never feels like it's going to happen. It never feels real until all of a sudden we're, you know, 10 subscribers away and I'm sitting in an airport and I can't even live stream over. But I was really glad that, as I said, I got to at least watch it happen, post about it on Instagram and Twitter and stuff. And you guys' responses and everything, you guys are incredible. I really appreciate it. Um, I wanted to say that as well because I'm sure that I didn't get to respond to everybody on those posts. But thank you guys all so much for that. And again, thank you for making this community what it is. It is absolutely an honor to be a part of it and get to do what I do for a living, obviously, uh, with the with the videos and the streams and all that. I love it. I can't wait to continue with it going forward into 2022. It's pretty awesome to have a video in which we can kind of talk about both things. With the 300k milestone coming so close to the end of 2021, we can kind of look forward to 2022 and talk about that, as well as talking about the milestone. So I don't want to ramble too much while we're not chasing bears and stuff, so we'll hopefully get on to the next lake or something. But I just wanted to say how much I appreciate you guys. It's been just an amazing year. And with that said, I'm kind of just now coming to the realization that this is going to be one of the last videos of 2021. There's a couple of things I've got planned. Obviously... The end of the year montage is going to be one of the biggest videos we've ever done and it's essentially just going to be a combination of the monthly montages from the entirety of this year. I also intend to do a trophy lodge tour and as I mentioned hopefully another video 
kind of talking a little bit more about this year and what it's been and we'll see if that video ends up being in 2021 or not i hope for it to be uh, but that's just gonna kind of depend on how things go maybe the trophy lodge tour or the montage will take longer than i think it will but i'll go into play and that's essentially going to be the lineup for the remainder of this year but we got ourselves a nice little light gray elk they are my favorite fur type so nice to get a gold one and I mean, it's just only now hitting that this year is nearly over. It's, that's just blowing my mind at the moment. But anyway, we'll see if we can get back to Blackbeard here before nightfall. You know, I just don't really ever hunt Rocky Mountain Elk during their drink times. So when we go to some of these areas, I'm expecting to just chase Black Bear. I kind of forget that there's bound to be so many elk around and... I'm going to guess them suddenly kind of starting to get out of their zone. Let's switch to the wood grain 300 real quick, but I'm thinking they are starting to leave because of the mountain lions. And it sounds like there's one over to our left, but we'll worry about getting our shot off first. Should be into the lungs. It looks like it's going to bring him down nice and quickly. But that's something I'd love to run into more of. We've got a good number of diamond Rocky Mountain elk throughout the lodge. And we've been fortunate enough to bring down at least one diamond of all the kind of common fur types. Brown, light gray, and I guess it used to be called common. I don't know what it's called now. That might be fun to try to find out today. But I would love to get like a, a really big rare or something for the lodge. All the rares we've had have been either rather small or like the pie balls where you can't see that much. So that would be a nice thing to run into as we're somewhat looking for bears today. But this guy is going to be the brown fur type, which I may have just referred to as dark brown a couple of minutes ago. I can't remember if that's what I said or if I properly uh, described it as brown, but maybe even just running and looking at their tracks. I just want to know what they're calling the old commons now. That's been something, you know, we've been so focused on Mississippi Acres to where we haven't really been on that many other maps. And a lot of the old fur types that were called common have changed and I just don't know what they are yet so it'll be interesting to find out unfortunately we are finding all basically old fur types that we already had like that is the old common right there so that disturbed vegetation is going to be what the new fur type is called it's called light brown I guess that actually makes sense I don't think there's now there is another bull in there I don't remember seeing a very big one, so I don't think it'll be that significant. But if we can get a shot at it, especially since we're investigating fur types and stuff like that, I wouldn't mind getting to bring him down. It's that guy right there. No idea where we hit, but definitely into the lungs. And did he warning call that late? He may have. I don't think there were three. And of course, this time with Rascal just being interestingly positioned we have the light gray so it's not like the fur type is going to look that much different there were like fur quality enhancements with that mississippi update but generally it's going to look the same and we at least know now that it is called light brown it's just going to be nice to kind of know like what the the old commons are called so we know what we're looking at and in general kind of know what to go after as far as what's common and what's maybe a little more uncommon Unfortunately, the aforementioned Nightfall was finally upon us, and I decided to go ahead and switch servers to one in the daytime, and that gives us the opportunity to go after a Plains Bison for a little while, and I think this little level 3 will be a good start into that. So, we'll go ahead and grab the Wood Grain 300 again, and I'd like to go for a hard shot that kind of quartering angles with a Bison. I've had the most success with, but he's kind of blocking all opportunities to go for it when he looks the way that he was. Now bison actually do lift their heads while feeding a little more than other species. And he finally gave us a shot there and there was no way we are going to let that go by, especially he's not on one that small. When they're looking kind of over to the other side like they were, or like he was, the neck flesh kind of covers the heart and I don't think the 300 has enough penetration to reach if we end up going for a shot like that. So we had to be patient, but it worked out and no tracking required on what is the species that'll run pretty far from a single lung hit. Now, I'll be honest, I don't remember what the gold requirement is for Plains Bison. It might be in the 180s. Uh, gold is 148, so we would have 
a 150 max would have had a slight chance of being gold. It may have been Euro bison that are 180s, or maybe I'm just completely confusing a different species entirely. But yeah, like that barely reached in and touched the heart. If we had to shoot through extra sort of neck flesh when he was turned, we would have ended up with a flesh hit and a really long track requiring a follow-up shot, so I'm glad we were a little more patient there. Now that does look a little better. Guaranteed gold obviously at 156 minimum. And maybe we can actually go for a proper heart shot here, although broadside heart shots on bison are not exactly my favorite. That one with a little bit of quartering angle to it was a bit easier, and max weight estimate for but a rather low score estimate, so I think we just saw 221 is diamond, 204 max, and back before the kind of score estimates would change, I think most if not all max weight uh, Plains Bison were given an estimate that would at least give them a chance, but yeah, at 184, I still feel like that is a significant number for some reason, it must be for some other species. That guy is a fairly decent gold. Hard shot there, kind of similar to the frontal angle, not reaching into the heart by a lot, but enough to insta drop him and save us the uh, tracking once again. I do believe we finally are looking at what is the now called light brown variant of a Rocky Mountain Elk, and he may not be that big, but I do want to go ahead and try to take him down and just kind of take a look at it and make sure that it is the correct thing. And obviously there's no new fur types or anything like that for them, at least not that we're aware of. So it's pretty much just kind of getting a confirmation on that. And like I said earlier, sort of learning what is common versus uncommon. And I think with the elk, it almost is, at least between the brown and the light brown, seemingly the same odds of finding one. Light gray are a little less common. But again, it's nice to know the kind of differ differentiation there. So nice to actually get to finally pick one up after talking about it earlier. Light brown for this guy, and he actually was a level 3 gold, which you don't see incredibly often with the Rocky Mountain Elk. I will say, there's definitely a difference on this versus like the old, we call them the old light browns, the old commons. Like, it's hard to explain exactly what it is, and I found this to be the case with like Whitetail on Mississippi. They're different, but it's hard to say exactly what it is. Just kind of little improvements to the fur is probably the best way that I could describe it, but nice to see that guy making gold. I've talked about it on a lot of different Silver Ridge Peaks hunts where we see a big three with an estimate they could get there, and they pretty much never do. So yeah, nice to not only see the new light brown, at least description, of the fur type that we just had there, but also the level three gold. You know, it may be the case that light gray elk are more common now. We've seen that the light brown turkeys are just everywhere, and I don't know if that's intended or not. It seems like it probably shouldn't be, but one of the things that I think may be the, the reason for that is that in the patch notes for, I believe it was Mississippi, they said that they kind of like standardized the rarity tiering or something like that for all of the different fur types, which I think essentially means some animals that were maybe more rare than they should have been were made more common and, and stuff like that. So maybe light gray elk were never supposed to be a little less common than the other variants, because we've seen them all over the place today, and like I said, light gray are my favorite, and I it really isn't because that they were less common, I just think they look really good. So I'd be all in on potentially getting more light gray diamond elk in the lodge. And that one there was a, a max weight estimate for, so nice to see a good size one too. And that whole thing kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier, like kind of understanding just what fur types, even for one, like with the old commons, what fur types are what, and then starting to figure out what actually is rare or uncommon again. Because even with the black bear, like cinnamon and blonde black bear, I wouldn't call them necessarily common before, now it seems they are basically proper rares, which is, I, I think that's really, really cool, kind of having black bears with rare variations, because that was never a thing, and it's just kind of finding all that stuff out is going to uh, take some time, but that may certainly be the case with the light gray uh, Rocky Mountain Elk. I mean, we saw plenty today, and a good number of them were males, so it could be the case. The wind is just not doing us any favors, but 
despite the fact that we spook both of these bears, they are coming back nervous, and as we can see, that guy is a level 9, but I believe at least as I'm looking at that, he's probably the dark fur type? Or maybe dusky, I can see like the, the brownish kind of tan fur up by his nose, which definitely means he's not the black fur type that we are after, but maybe at least he'll be a little bit different than the ones that we have. So we'll kind of try to scoot in a little bit closer. And I think we may use the wood grain through Hunter for this one. I think it's my favorite of the two. Both of them, I think, are good looking guns, but just because it's a little more like what I've kind of used in real life, it's mostly been kind of wood grain uh, stocks. We'll go ahead and try to go with that. So when he lifts his head, we need to be very careful, actually. We've done this in the past where we accidentally hit them in the head. It almost might be better to shoot with his head down. I mean, that time it would have been fine, but I just think kind of a shot like that into the shoulder. We have the power of the 300. Let's not risk having a random skull hit ruin a potential diamond black bear. So I think that was the way to go. Obviously, lung shot, he went down good and quick. I really do, and I've mentioned it a lot more recently. I really do like to go for the drop shots. I think... I've really enjoyed making the monthly montages, and I hope to do it again in 2022, but it looks cooler when they drop, but what is risking completely messing up the diamond, I don't think that's worth it. So the question is, what fur type is he? And I, I think that's the dark fur type, unfortunately. That's the way it looks to me. We'll go ahead and find out for certain. A 23.9 max weight, but he's a dark fur type. I'm definitely not going to complain about a max weight and nearly max score diamond bear. That is awesome, but that's the old common fur type. That's what the dark fur type is now. Dusky or black would have been at least different. So we have a 24 score max weight um, that was the old common now called dark in the trophy lodge. So I'm not exactly sure what we're going to do with it yet. I still hope eventually we see a black bear multi-mount, but that one, as cool as it is, I don't know where exactly we can place it. I mean, that was... I wasn't sure what fur type he was, I was hoping for the best, but as soon as I saw that brown fur, I kind of figured that might be where we were headed, but I did not expect to see that high of a score. I think on that note... We are going to go back to the second trophy lodge. I just can't think of anywhere we could put that new black bear in the main lodge. Especially when there's one, same fur type and all, just a little bit bigger. But we'll definitely go and take a look. That would be our second biggest diamond black bear ever. I think we had another maybe max weight or near max weight on Layton. But I want to say it was 23.7 or 23.8. So kind of, you know, get another one on our little list there. We haven't even been in this lodge, it feels like, for maybe a couple of months. And it's interesting, the way that the lighting is in Spring Creek Manor, it kind of makes our new diamond dark fur type black bear look a little more like that black or dusky fur type that we would have been after. But at 23.9, that's obviously a really good sized bear. And I still don't know, like, the ultimate goal with this lodge. I think. It's likely that there comes a point, if there's not a new, bigger trophy lodge added, that eventually this will kind of become a part of our main lodge. Right now, we're still able to have one diamond of every single species in the game in that lodge, and still a, a number of multi-mounts and rares and stuff across it, but as more and more new species get added, there's less and less room to kind of do that, so eventually stuff like that black bear may get to stay, because that would expand, expand the room that we have significantly by kind of adding that extra lodge. And we'll kind of see what happens. Um, unless a bunch of new multi-mounts get added, it probably won't matter until the next reserve. We'll kind of see what happens as time goes along. But anyway, that is officially going to do it for this video. What a way to kind of celebrate 300k with a monster diamond black bear out there on Silver Ridge Peaks. And not exactly the one that we're after, but at the very least, it's a sign, I think, of hopefully good things to come. And hopefully good things to come in 2022, as I mentioned. There's not a whole lot of hunting left in 2021. It's going to be kind of the montages, trophy lodge tours, and stuff like that. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.